Hi, welcome along to another video. In this video, we will look at Israel's weather modification activities, which started in 1954. We will then look at weather modification activity by Iran, which started in 2008, which is 64 years after Israel started its program. We will also delve into weather warfare where Iran accused Israel of stealing its atmospheric moisture and will touch on India's accusation that either China or Pakistan has stolen its atmospheric moisture, just so you know that accusations are not exclusively made by Iran towards Israel. Let's start with Israel in 1954. A 2022 UK Freedom of Information request included an unpublished paper prepared by H. W. L. Absalm which was a paper of the Meteorological Research Committee, MRC, London. Written in February 1954. The MRC was part of the Air Ministry, which became part of the UK's Ministry of Defence MOD. The paper titled Artificial Production of Precipitation contained this statement by Absalm. Some reports of cloud seeding in other countries are available, e.g., Canada, France, India, Israel. South Africa and the United Kingdom, but are not considered to contain information which adds materially to that, given, in this memorandum. Therefore we know, in 2024, Israel initiated its weather modification program 70 years ago, 1969 to 1975. The American Meteorological Society, AMS, published a paper, in the Journal of Applied Meteorology, in November 1981, authored by Gagin and Jake Newman, from the Department of Atmospheric Sciences, at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, Israel. The paper, titled, The Second Israeli Randomized Cloud Seeding Experiment, Evaluation of the Results, contained this statement in the abstract, The Second Israeli Randomized Cloud Seeding Experiment was conducted during the six rainfall seasons, from November to April, in the years, 1969 to 1975. Its primary purpose was to examine the possibilities of enhancing rainfall in the catchment area of Lake Kinneret, which serves the principal reservoir of the Israel National Water Carrier. The study showed positive overall results. 1975-2010 In June 2010, Zev Levin and the co-authors, Noam Hafon and Pinhas Alpert, from the Department of Geophysics and Planetary Science at the Tel Aviv University, Ramat Aviv, Israel, published an academic article in the Journal of Atmospheric Research titled Reassessment of Rain Enhancement Experiments and Operations in Israel Including Synoptic Considerations. The abstract confirms the previously mentioned experiments and that the activity was continued through to the article publishing year of 2010. A reanalysis of the results from cloud seeding in northern Israel is described. It is stated in the paper that, the analysis covers the period of the randomized Israel II experiment, 1969-1975, and the subsequent period, 1975 to the present, meaning to 2010, where operational seeding is being conducted. The evaluation is carried out using the double ratio method, as was done in the past. They analyzed the precipitation data in the north of Israel, before and during the seeding period, they stratified the data, based on synoptic conditions, and compared the results, with an area to the south, that had been unseeded, during the seeded days in the north. 2018, International Weather Wars. Currently, in 2024, India who has been modifying its weather since 1954, as stated by Absalm at the start of this video, has accused neighboring countries of weaponizing the weather, probably meaning China who started modifying their weather in 1958. According to the China Meteorological Administration, on August 8, 1958, the first aircraft artificial rain enhancement operation was executed in Jilin, ushering in the new era of contemporary weather modification in China. Or they mean Pakistan who started modifying their weather in the year 2000 according to Dr. Syed Faisal Saeed, who stated on 21 January, 2024 in the Pakistan News, in an article based on his research paper, that the Pakistan Meteorological Department conducted cloud seeding experiments on warm clouds in Pakistan during the summer of 2000. The experiments showed some success in bringing rain over some parts of Sindh and Balakistan province. 
The doctor is a director at the Pakistan Meteorological Department. He has a PhD from Stockholm University, Sweden, on the subject of climate variability over South Asia. So, India, which is a country who has modified its weather for 70 years, is complaining that a country, probably meaning China, that has modified its weather for 65 years, or another, which could only mean Pakistan, that has done it for 24 years, could have weaponized the weather in 2023-2024. So why is that relevant to this summary? In July 2018, Iran accused Israel of weaponizing the weather. Brigadier General Golam Reza Jalali, the head of Iran's civil defense organization, accused Israel of taking the lead in suspicious climate change in the country. He went on to state that Iranian researchers have proved that Tel Aviv, with some allies, are putting a crimp in precipitation on Iranian soil. 2019, the Jerusalem Post, published an article by Omri Ron, in December 2019, titled, With Rains Returning to Israel, Cloud Seeding is Being Renewed, he writes further that, EMS Mikarot, one of the water companies in Israel, has started cloud seeding, in order to increase, the amount of rain. Planes and 32 ground-based generator, seeding locations will assist in the operation. 2020, the Euromoney magazine, stated in September 2020, that an, Israel and UAE agreement is a benefit for both sides. National water company, Mikarot, is a world leader in cloud seeding. Now, we will look at Iran's weather modification activity. 2008, the Financial Tribune, an Iranian, English-language economic daily, which published, an article, in December 2016, stated that, cloud seeding faces funding challenges. Cloud seeding projects have been practiced in Iran since 2008. 2011, seven years before the 2018 accusation against Israel, in May 2011, the Israeli news outlet Arutz Sheva 7 Israel National News, published an article, titled, Ahmadinejad, West Blocked Rain Clouds. The Iranian leader, threatens legal action, against European countries, that blocked rain using special equipment. The article continues stating the Iranian president said that, unnamed Western countries are causing droughts in some areas of the world, including Iran. Some European countries, using special equipment, have prevented rain clouds from reaching certain eastern areas, including the Persian Islamic State. 2012, Reuters cited Iranian news reports, in September 2012, which was also reported by Yahoo News, in an article, titled, Could Iran's Enemies Really Be Destroying Its Rain Clouds? President Ahmadinejad stated the enemy destroys the clouds that are heading towards our country and this is a war Iran will win. The Yahoo News article author, Natalie Wolchover, states the Iranian authorities have made this claim repeatedly in the past year. 2016, the, Iran Daily, news outlet, reported in September 2016, that, Iran plans to resume cloud seeding. With the head of Iran's cloud seeding research center stating, Iran plans to launch a new round of cloud seeding, as experts forecast, a decrease in precipitation, in the autumn. 2017, in the business section, of the Azerbaijani news outlet, the Trend News Agency, it was reported, in January 2017, that Iran had carried out, 60 hours of cloud seeding, over a three-month period. The Financial Tribune reported in February 2017, that, Cloud seeding cannot alleviate air pollution. The cloud seeding projects are primarily aimed at increasing rainfall in Iran and cannot directly help alleviate pollution. However, the method has been proposed to help improve Tehran's air quality, but is considered as not practical. 2018, the accusations about whether warfare return, as mentioned previously, in the Israeli part of this video. 2020, the Iran front-page news outlet, reported in October 2020, that Iran's IRGC is using a Q-170 drones to seed clouds. The article states further that the Aerospace Division of Iran's Islamic Revolution Guards Corps, IRGC, says it is using a reverse-engineered version of the American Unmanned Aerial Vehicle, UAV, a Q-170, to seed clouds. 
the move comes to tackle drought in parts of the country. In January 2024, the Tehran Times reported with an article titled West Asia's Water Crisis Deepens Through Cloud Wars. The article adds, in marked contrast, neighboring countries in West Asia region, such as Turkey, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates, have enjoyed substantial rainfall and snowfall. Subsequently, the puzzling disparity sparked inquiries into the underlying causes of Iran's precipitation deficiency. It should be noted here, that, the countries mentioned, all have, atmospheric moisture redistribution programs in place. The article also states that some rumors were spread surrounding the existence of anti-hail devices near Mount Sabalan, whose primary purpose is to convert hail within clouds into rain, safeguarding crops in the area from potential damage. Addressing the issue, the Director General of Ardabil Province's Meteorology Department, Majid Kohi, stated that there is no scientific evidence to support the ability of these devices to disperse clouds or inhibit rainfall. However, a report from the IRNA news agency, in 2021, featured the head of the Moraga Environmental Protection Department, Golem Reza Zare, who highlighted the potential impact of anti-hell devices on local rainfall. Zare noted that in recent years, these devices have been used in the apple orchards of the city, and irregular usage has led to cloud dispersal and decreased rainfall particularly on the southern slopes of Sahand. Anti-hell devices have gained widespread use in Iran for more than a decade. The Parliament Research Center's report, from 2014, has also mentioned the counteractive nature of anti-hell devices in contrast to cloud seeding methods. That was a summary of Israeli and Iranian weather modification activity. Sources for the information shown in this video are posted in the description section of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share, and thumbs up the video if you liked it, as this helps direct YouTube's algorithms. I'll be back soon with more news and summaries of weather modification activities, but until then, look after yourselves, and I'll see you next time.